Hello YouTube people! Today I'm gonna show you a very impressive looking watch. This Boltony. Boltony gave me a discount for this watch and for the same reason I will disable ads on this video. So thanks Boltony for disabling ads on this YouTube video. Now this watch actually reminded me the reasons why we are addicted to watches. I took this watch out of the box and it gave me that feeling that it's like you English speaking people say my heart skips the beat when I look at a dial of this watch. It's a little bit too poetic for my liking but that's exactly how it feels like and that's exactly the reason why we are addicted to those simple things. You, when you think about it it's just a watch but you take that watch and you are speechless. You are breath, breath takes, it takes your breath away, your heart skips the beat, look, you look at that watch and you just don't understand what's happening. You are just super happy. And most importantly that feeling persists throughout the day, throughout the week and it's like you wear that thing on your wrist, you randomly look at th that thing throughout your day and it makes you just as happy. That's just, that's what, how a, this addiction works like. So let's take a better look. Now just take a look at that. What a crazy four watches I have here on the table. They are here together for a reason because they are similarly sized analog watches and I love them. I love them all. They are just incredible. For example this little Casio it's like it's a hipster watch. It's ultimate anti-luxury watch in my opinion. I love it, love it, love it. I wear it rather often. Now this Casio MTP1200, sapphire crystal, 50 meters water resistance, it is incredible. No ticking sound, super accurate, very slim, super slim. And that's kind of important, I like slimliness. Now for comparison look at this fat boy. And it's also quartz, but look how thick it is. I mean, isn't that a little bit... Yeah, a little bit crazy, right? Okay, but about that later on. Now this beautiful Parnas. And very interesting comparison. Parnas has no anti-reflective coating, but it also has sapphire crystal and bright dial. And Bolton has anti-reflective coating. And look how differently they, be they behave in a light. Parnas is completely blown out. Bolt and the anti-reflective coating is just insane. Let me switch hands. Yeah, it's it's incredible. This anti-reflective coating on Bolton is insane. Wonderful. Now, as wonderful as it is, it still has some negative things. And one negative thing I have already mentioned is its thickness. For example, this Parnas is automatic watch, right? It kind of has to have some thickness, otherwise the movement simply wouldn't fit inside. So how thick it actually is? Parnas is 11.8 millimeters. Now this Boltony is a quartz watch. And how is it? Quartz watch. How thick it is? 13.6 millimeters. Quartz watch. I mean, are you crazy? This quartz Casio, how thick it is? <laughs> 8.6 millimeters. 8.6 millimeters versus 13 and a half and, and 13.6. This is insane. Sorry, this is a little bit insane. Yes, it has 200 meters of water resistance, which is absolutely crazy. But I would rather have 50 meters of water resistance minus several millimeters of thickness. But it would look a lot more elegant, in my opinion if it was a little bit slimmer. Mostly if it would have a slimmer bezel and I'm not sure about this dome sapphire crystal on such a already thick watch adding this thick sapphire crystal I'm not sure. I mean look at this dial it's beautiful it's very dressy but it looks very deep and it looks even deeper for that reason that it has this magnifying glass on top of it. It looks even deeper I'm I'm pretty sure it would look better with flat sapphire crystal like Parnas. So that's just my opinion. I would take less water resistance for minus several millimeters in my opinion. Another negative thing I wouldn't look seriously at because even if this watch would arrive naked without any strap 
I wouldn't complain at all. But I just have to show you this strap few days in and it is already wearing off. And initially it was rather uh, rather stiff. Right now it is wearing okay. It's getting softer and softer. But the inside of the strap is a little bit plasticky. It's it's not like some kind of fabric. It's it feels more like plastic, a little bit unbreathable. Wrist gets a little bit sweaty. But yeah, that's all. I I'm not complaining. I just show you how how it is if you care about that. So by the way, it's 18 millimeter strap. How it looks like off the strap? It looks amazing. <laughs> it's like a candy. Another negative thing that I don't care about actually is the inside of the lugs are, are rather sharp. The inside of the lugs are rather sharp, but honestly, who cares about that? By the way, sorry for not peeling off the protective film. The thing with those mirror finished back cases is that once you peel the protective film off, you instantly get a scratch. So I'll keep it there for a while. Other than that, I I, I can't complain about anything else. It's just simply stunning. This watch is absolutely amazing. As I told you in the beginning, this is one of those things that make my heart skip the beat. I am so amazed by this watch. It's so wonderful. Now, let's check the crown. How is the crown? I just love such a big, such a grippy crown. Screw down crown, by the way. Very clicky feedback. Oh, lovely how it's setting up the time. Oh, the ratio is great. I need to turn the crown quite a lot for minute hand to move. It's wonderful. Now let's do the test at 45 minutes. Does the minute hand jump when I push the crown in? A little bit, not too much. A little bit. Once again. Not too bad, not too bad. Come on. One interesting thing is that second hand actually hits the markers small thing but I know people care about that it always hits the markers which is very nice they screw the crown back in oh my god this crown feels so wonderful I really like that it is so big it looks amazing now sorry I do not have any 18 millimeter straps so I tried my best squeezing some 20 millimeter straps in just to get the looks how the color combination looks like and this military green looks simply incredible on this beige dial absolutely incredible just for the fun how is the red strap i think it's all right i would actually wear it sometimes like that on video this strap looks a little bit orangey i believe but in person it's super red and it really looks nice on this beige dial how about single piece leather strap it looks somewhat period correct i would say <laughs> by the way this strap even though it looks ugly but if you want very durable strap i will put link in the description the inside of the strap is super soft the strap itself very flexible and it's very very durable really strong recommendation buy 18 millimeter strap like this together with this watch it looks very nice let's let's try the black one man this watch is such a strap monster it is such a strap monster <laughs> so much fun black one also looks nice very classy i like it yeah oh my god look at this dial those blue hands i usually don't like blue hands they look cheap but on this watch they are dark enough to look actually actually rich they look blue only on specific angles but other than that they look completely black it's just like Oh, surprise, they're actually blue. Oh my god, I love that. Wonderful. Now, the original strap. I usually don't like those white stitches because they overpower the watch. They take attention away from the watch itself. But this watch, I believe it has such a strong image that it's even. It even uh, evens out and, and it looks alright. It, it looks really good. And I haven't mentioned that, but this strap, 18 millimeters, but it also tapers down quite a lot. And I really love how narrow it is. It's so, so cute. It's so nice. I, I really like it. Okay, the video is probably already way too long and you are bored. So let's move to the conclusions. Where I'm gonna put this watch on my website, thomaswatchreviews.com, where it watches into different tier lists. 
uh, you would probably say put it into sponsored because you got a discount no i still paid most of the price i gonna put this watch into keepers thank you for watching thank you boltony for giving me a discount for this watch have a nice day goodbye